Hello YouTube and welcome to a little episode of Minecraft. Uh, I recently had a comment asking me about how I got the spawners to work. I use a mod that I got off the Minecraft forums called Spawner GUI. And yeah, the default spawner is a pig. So if you right click on the spawner and you have this mod, I can change these to spawn whatever I want. Let's, For example, I can spawn chickens. And then you just press escape and then that spawner automatically becomes a chicken spawner after these pigs get this way now you have to inventory edit spawners in because you can't collect them naturally but see chicken I can also have a creeper now when you have a creeper spawner you always have to have your finger on the back button but oh back because I don't know if they spawn in daylight I don't think they do in fact I should have probably gotten some dirt in here so that I could make a um make it dark because you can spawn any mob in the game using spawners now it says you can spawn slimes and I've seen people spawn slimes I can't spawn slimes I've dug to the bottom of the Minecraft world. I've done everything I know how to do. I just can't spawn slimes. So, take that as you'll take it. This makes me really afraid to be standing on top of a creeper spawner. It's a very uncomfortable feeling. Because I don't know when the darkness level will be right to actually spawn a creeper. Now luckily I've edited my health up a bit. But I still don't like creepers. I like to use mob spawners. Uh, you saw in my texture pack review worlds it's really easy to just put a spawner in somewhere if you need a monster. You can make uh, really elaborate material producing farms like on YouTube I've seen people use spawners and they build gigantic redstone machines to harvest all the stuff from their spawners and there I'll just make it dark in there for a little bit hi creeper don't Alright. But yeah, that's the creeper. Ah, uh, you can spawn sheep, squid, zombies. That's actually a really smart way I did this. Close it, let it spawn, and then open. But um this mod, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh it's a very useful mod for several things. I don't think it really interferes with anything. Although, I don't think that if you have a mod that adds extra mobs to the game, I don't think you can get it to spawn those without editing it in some way. But, um, I think it needs mod loader. You definitely need to use mod loader if you want to get the mod to work. But there's a few things that you can get, you can do with these that you can't do with just normal Minecraft. And I'll show you that in a second here. Once I take down this whatever you call it makeshift darkness room alright you they have these things called giants which you can spawn which look really funny it's basically a giant zombie now I think it might have to be dark for those to spawn but it's basically that thing that's spinning around in there it's a gigantic zombie and I've never found a use for them, but you can spawn them. You can spawn wolves, which this is what the question was about from my subscriber. Let me give the wolf a bone. <gasps> oh. And then, if you want to. Oh, I didn't know that. You can right click a wolf to tell it to stay. Alright. And then I could 
now spawn some pig zombies. I think. Unless they require darkness to spawn. Nope. Huh. Looks like they don't know what to do. They're on fire. Get him. Get him. Get him. Good puppy. I like wolves. This is actually the first time I've actually played around with the wolves. See, is there anything else? Uh, you can get gas to spawn in the normal Minecraft world. Which is a horrible idea. I didn't know you if you knew this or not, but you can actually beat gas by hitting their fireballs back at them. And I know this seems like it's a pretty hastily put together video, and I just read a comment and kind of wanted to reply to it. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave the link to Mod Loader and uh, the GUI, the Spawner GUI mod in the Minecraft form. And I hope you enjoyed this little video explaining how I do this. Thank you.